Hello everyone. In this particular video, I'm going to be explaining to you about the working of the load and store operation in which you're going to have data transfer between registers and memory. This can be either way register to memory or memory to register. We are going to be looking with that with an example over here. So our aim is to develop an assembly language program in which you're going to use the load and store instructions over here. For this, what you're going to do first is you're going to store the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into the registers R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5. Next what you're going to do is you're going to access a memory location. So you're going to specify that memory location into the register R0. So I am going to be specifying this as my memory location over here. 0x stands for it is a hexadecimal number and this is my memory location. When we come into the Keel software I'll be telling you why you have to get this memory location. So what have I done? I've initialized R0 register with this memory location over here. Next, what am I going to do? In R1, I have the value 1. That value is now being stored in this memory location. So whatever is specified in square bracket, please remember it specifies the location specified by that register value. Okay. So any data available in that register is now pointing to an address. That is what the square bracket means. Wherever you see a square bracket, please remember that is a difference. You see R1 does not have any square bracket. It means that data inside R1 is a data, that's all. But if you see square bracket, you can understand that data inside R0 is specified to an address. Okay, so I hope you can understand that. Now we will move on. You can see that R1 is having the value 1 and that is moved to this location specified by R0. R0 is specifying to this location you can see over here. Next what you are going to do, you are going to store the value in R2 which is 2. That value is moved to the location R0 plus 4. So 4, 0, 0, 0, 0 and the last value is going to become 4 over here. We are talking about a 32 bit data and that is why 4 into 8, 32. That is why we are talking about plus 4s over here. Okay. So you will understand that when we look into the keel again. Now you are adding 4 and you are storing the second data. You are adding 8 and storing the third data. You are adding 12 You're add and you are putting the fourth data over there. You are adding 16 to R0 and you are putting the fifth data over there. So this is not auto increment. Please remember, in the next program or in my next video, I will be talking about the auto increment, auto decrement function. This is not an auto increment function. You are incrementing it by 4, 8, 12 and 16. So it is not auto increment over here. So these are the ones that are storing the value of register into the memory location. Now what am I going to do next? I am going to use a load instruction which is nothing but LDR. Store instruction is STR. So I'm going to use a load instruction and whatever data is available in R0, I'm moving it to R8. Whatever data is available in R0 plus 4, I'm moving it to R9 register. Whatever data was available now in R0 plus 8, that value is moved to R10. R0 plus 12, that now updated value is moved to R11. R0 plus 16 now has an updated value which was in which was R5, same data. That value is now moved to R12. So now I am using the store and load instructions over here. Initially I used R0, R1 to R5. Now I am using R8 to R12 to store the data from the memory location to the register. Lastly what am I going to do is I am going to add all these register values and I am going to store it in R13 register. So the program for that is available here. You can see that initially I am moving one value over here. So instead of one what I am doing over here is I am going to store a value 256. So 256 is stored into R1, 2 is stored in R2, 3 in R3, 4 in R4 and 5 in R5. And I am initializing my R13 register to 0 if it had another value because I mean I am using the add instruction I wanted to initialize it to 0. Then what am I going to do? I am going to load my R0 with a particular immediate value here. This is the instruction don't forget to give the comma and equal to. So comma equal to this is the value which is being stored into R0. It means this hexadecimal value is put into R0 over here and I am going to give store. Store means R1 is stored into this location. R1 is having 256 and that is stored into this location. R2 is stored into R0 plus 4. R3 is stored into R0 plus 8. So that hash 8 over here in bracket represents plus is going to take place over there and this is nothing but my offset address. So similarly R4, the data in R4 is stored in R, R0 plus 12. And similarly R5 data is stored in R0 plus 16. And reverse, I am going to put those data into the corresponding R8, R9, R10, R11 and R12 using the load register. So load register, what is going to happen? Whatever data is in R0 is going to, that means 4, this 4, 4 followed by 7, 0. That data is now put into R8. 
no r not plus 4 that uh, whatever address location it is pointing to that data is moved to r9 data pointed to this location is moved to r10 data pointed to this location is moved to r11 data pointed to this location is moved to r12 and next what am i going to do i'm going to add the value of r8 and i'm going to add it with r13 what is r13 0 so r8 plus r13 which means r8 is nothing but having the value of r1 which is 256 that value is added with 0 and it is put in R13. Next, what am I going to do? R9. R9 is having my second data which is 2. So, 2 is added with 256 and I am getting my next entry and that is stored over here. So, similarly, I am going to add all the values R10 with the updated R13, R11 with the updated R13, R12 with my updated R13 and I am going to get my final output in this R13 register. So, this is how this is going to be working. So, we will now build a particular So you can see step by step, you can see what is happening over here. R1 is having the value 256. So you can see that it's equivalent, uh, what do you say, uh, hexadecimal number of 256, which is 100. 255 is nothing but FF. Please remember, you can do that with the help of a calculator. FF is nothing but 255. Okay. So 256 is nothing but 100. So what is going to happen? Hexadecimal number 100 is going to be moved into R1 register. So, you can see that 100 hexadecimal number of 256 is moved to R1 register. Similarly, 2 is moved to R2 register over here and 3 is moved to R3, 4 is moved to R4 register and 5 is moved to R5 register. So, all these are now put over there. Next, what am I going to do? I am going to put this address value into R0 register. So, you can see that when I implement this, this value will now be, uh, be replaced by 4. You can see that that after I, uh, what do you say, run this particular value, R13 has become 0 and after this line you can see that 4 has now been updated over here. So, this is what has happened till now. Now, you need to access memory location. You need to see whether the values are getting updated in the memory location. Normally, it will point to call stack over here. Kindly go to memory 1 and in that memory 1, copy this particular address that you have provided over here and paste it over here. It will point to this particular location. Now you can see that in my 4 followed by 7 zeros, what is my first data? It is going to be 100. Okay, 100. Zero, zero. That data is going to be available over here. So you can see that I have 1 followed by 3 zeros over here. I have 1 followed by 3 zeros. And you can see remaining there 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 zeros over here. You can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 zeros are available in these locations. Those are nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This 1 followed by 2 zeros, these are the least significant bits, okay. So, this 1 followed by these 2 zeros is nothing but this 1 zero zero over here. So, this is where my first data is being stored, okay. You can see that over here. Now, plus 4. Now, you can see that this is 0, 1, 2, 3, plus 4. So, in this location, I will be having the next data which is going to be 2, okay. R2 is having the value 2 and that is being moved to which location? R0 plus 4. So, R0 plus 4. You can see that this is my R0 plus 4 and now having 2. Now, plus 4, I, you can see that that is this location. In this location, I will be having the value 3. So, now I am having 3. Next, I am going to move have this particular data and this value is going to be 4. So, this value is being going to be 4. And this value again, if I am going to add this particular 16 over there to this value, it is come, going to point to this location and this location is going to be having the value, you can see 5. So, this value is now going to be 5 over here. Now, the store operation is complete. What is next? You need to do the load operation. From these memory locations, you need to add, the, you are going to put these values into the particular corresponding registers R8, R9, R10. So, in R0 register, your, whatever value is available there, you are going to put that in R8. Okay. So, you can see the value 00, 0 is available there. So, you can see that value 100 0 is now being put into which value? You can see R8 register. So, this 100 0 is now being put into this R8 register. R9 will be updated with 2, 3, 4 and 5 up to R12. You can see all these updates step by step through 3, 4 and 5. And what are you going to do now? You are going to add R8 with R13. So, you know that what is the value of R8? R8 is initially 100 hexadecimal and R13 is initially 0. So, you are going to get that same number over there in hexadecimal. So, you are going to get that same 100 over here in R13. Now, you are going to add 100 hexadecimal 100 with the value of 2. Okay, yeah, now you are going to add it with the particular R9 value. R9 value is nothing but 2. So, 100 plus 2 is going to be 102. So, you are getting 102. Now, 102 is going to be added with 3. 
which is nothing but the R10 register. So 105. So you're going to be getting 105. Now 105 is going to be added with 4, which is going to give you 109. And lastly, you're going to add the value of 5 to this 109. You're not going to be getting 114. Please remember, you're talking about hexadecimal numbers over here. So you will be getting the value 10E, which is equal to 14. F is 15, E is 14. So you will be getting that particular 10E over here. So in this program, what did we see? We saw how to initialize some values and put it, move them into registers. We initialize this R13 because we are going to use it for addition purpose. Next, we are going to initialize our R0 register because that is where the memory location is to be pointed to. And now I am going to point to my offset which is not my auto increment. Please remember, I am going to specify the individual values 4, plus 8, plus 12, plus 16 and so on. So this is my store operation over here. Similarly, the data from memory to my register needs to be moved back and that is when I will be using the load instruction. Finally, what I am going to do is, I am going to add all these registers together and that is being done with these five instructions over here. And finally, I have my output in my R13 register which has the value 10E which is the hexadecimal. I hope you were able to understand this particular program.